the number one person that's in demand, number one thing that's in demand right now to get food, to get clothing, to get shelter, are you men. There are countries that have been waiting, starving for men like you to finally get your passports, stop fucking with the minor women in the United States, hop on a plane other than fear it, and get to their country, marry their women. I'm talking about from Istanbul and in India to Egypt to Japan, and even the goddamn United States is on the list for demand of men. They need men around the world, and they don't just need any men. They don't need Pookie or his pal. They need men just like all of us on this live stream. You just do not know if you really realize. Oh, let's be real. Y'all ready? Here we go. That big bitch that you fucking right now that was with you when you got locked down four years ago or when you was broke and you lost your job or the one that's your baby mama, but she's so fucking out of shape, but she's a good baby mama. She's a good baby mama. And she cooked real good for you. But deep in the crevice of your soul, you know your ass deserve better. It's just like Corey Holcomb said. Corey Holcomb said, your woman is a representative of your economics. If you got money, you can get women, okay? Now, if you got a lot of money, you can get some of the finest women in the world. So with that being said, I want you to know the way your woman look represents your income. Saying you ain't got to explain nothing to me. <laughs> I see this recession that hit a couple of y'all outside the head. I keep Andrea jazzy than a month. You have a crush? Yes. Can I see your crush, please? Ain't nothing pretty but her face. Money hungry, nothing skinny but her face. I know in the States. Your woman was a representative when I was selling when I was selling that yay yo back in the day. Your woman is a representative. It wasn't even about you because we was wearing khakis. We was wearing the the the, the doctor's outfits. We were wearing whatever. But your woman, she the one with the mink on. She the one that's jazzy. Only only the pimps was trying to look jazzy along with the woman. Us regular dudes, we was regular dudes. We could put on jeans and a white tee and some white air forces, and we good. But your woman better be jazzy than a month if you was in a game like I was. Same thing when you come to Colombia. Your woman needs to be jazzy. Jazzy. And I keep my woman jazzy. I love when other women look at my woman and be like, damn, really? That's what they do? <laughs> That's what they doing? She with the brother? Damn, who is this brother? And I could be in a white tee, <laughs> blue jeans, and white Air Force. What is your wisdom for us today? Well, I met an incredible lady and I realized that I'm only half of me without her. My piece of advice to you is when you find your soulmate, find someone you can laugh with, cry with, someone who just loves you unconditionally, never let her go. Never take her for granted and just embrace that God blessed you to put someone in your life. So at the end of the day, what's my point? My point is, Men, you dudes that deal with bull in the United States, you ain't got to deal with it. But Dre, I still got a kid here. Focus on your kid. Dre, I still got a business here. Focus on your business. I ain't mad at you. But Dre, I, I, I still got my mom, my dad I'm taking care of. I ain't mad at you because that's what I did. I waited till mom and grandma. They graduated. Once they graduated to the other side of heaven, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. Ladies, I'm with you. You got your shorties to take care of. Some of y'all even got grandkids that you just love so much. I'm with you. But for those that are like that, you've already taken care of all those responsibilities and now you want to live your life, your ass is in demand. And it's, this is the part about being in demand. It's ageless. It's ageless. My old ass can get the hot chick yo young ass can get the hot chick think about it in the united states unless you balling out of control somebody got something to say about dudes our age getting a hot chick now it's easy for the dude 
the young dudes under 40 can have a hot chick. Ain't nobody gonna say a damn thing. But us over 40, everybody got something to say. How are her young ass be? She only wearing for the money. He must be a baller. But then you go to other countries. They just want you because you a man. And you a good man. I'm serious. Most of these traits we already got in us. As American men, we carry ourselves with. That's why everybody want to have some American man dick. Because they like, I want to fuck that American. Because I want to have that American baby. Because he got characteristics and traits that I've been looking for for my men. And they ain't got them. How many times? Okay. How many times have you dudes come down to Colombia? And Colombian women complain about Colombian men? How many of y'all been to Brazil or Thailand and they said that the Thailand men or the Brazilian men, oh, they 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 oh, they cool, but and they don't even want to move to our country. They just want to fuck with you. Men are in demand. And Brazil is one of the countries on the top 10 list. We could talk from a global scale to a regular ass YouTube channels. They don't know shit about what's going on in the rest of the world, about education, business, goals, women, life cost to live they don't know a damn thing they just so fucking stuck and so no shout out to those other youtube channels that's out there black youtubers but they fucking man they only give us a limit they only talk from the u.s perspective sounds like when dave Chappelle left uh the multi-million dollar deal hey i ain't gonna even lie until i started traveling i didn't understand when dave said i'm about to go to africa but when i started traveling i was like nah i get it i get it because i'm gonna tell you something i was thinking about this today is there really any amount of money, Andre, that you would go back to the United States for the rest of your life for? Nope. Andre, 50 million. Man, fuck the United States for 50 million. You can't give me back. First of all, you got to realize I'm a dude that lost 10 years of my life. 10 years in the fucking feds and doing state time and doing four years of probation. I'm behind the curve. No matter how successful I'm, I am, I'm, I'll be 10, 14 years behind you dudes for the rest of my life. $50 million can't get me back 14 years of my fucking life that they took from me. Can't take that back. So now I'm defining the rest of this thing how I want to define it. So when I say I'm not going back except to visit family and friends, I mean that. It's over 191 countries. Why the fuck would I go back to the United States as if it's the only one? Y'all can have that raggedy motherfucker. As like I said, 68% of y'all ain't going no damn way anyway. So keep on, you stay in the States, pay your taxes, make the dollar look good, and yeah flush a passport with no stamps but at the end of the day the most i will go back to the united states is six months to a year on a contract and it will have to be a multi million dollar contract why andre because it's the time of my life that i can't get back i treat money in the united states like motherfucker telling me go back to the federal prison that's how much i feel about the united states you might as well tell me not just go to back to tampa Get your ass back in jail because that's how they treat y'all in corporations when it comes to inflation, when it comes to health care, when it comes to cost of living, when it comes to how women treat y'all. You might as well be in fucking jail in the United States. So why the hell will I go back to jail in the United States? In other words, some of y'all say black back to the plantation. Tell me why. Give me 10 reasons why the fuck I would give me two reasons other than money or family or friends why the fuck i would go back to the united states tell me that one i ain't big I, i've been pondering for six years why i've only been back to the united states for three days in six years and the only person i really got a chance to enjoy hanging out with was jeffrey and a couple of other people and got my ass right back on that goddamn plane it came right on back. And it wasn't about Colombia. So all you do is that sit back and make the mistake of thinking, Andre, love Colombia. Bruh, I have no allegiance to any country. That's the beauty of it. Once you got your pass, you ain't got it's just like with, with uh I give you a perfect example. Uh Taylor made dreams, Russ. All you motherfuckers that sat back and thought, Russ is DR for life. He'll never leave the Dominican Republic, the Republic of Dominica. He'll never leave. So sewer for life. All right, so um, 
when I came through security today, man, I'm in Thailand. If y'all ain't seen Taylor Made Dreams lately, y'all better be watching Taylor Made Dreams. Man, Russ is, I think he's going back to to uh to Dominican Republic to you know check on his daughter, spend some time with his daughter, check on his properties. Okay, in in that time we've been watching Taylor Made Dreams. How many times has he been back to the United States? Okay. I've been watching him since 2017. He only went since he officially moved to DR. I've only seen him go back to the United States five times. And I'm stretching. I really know. I know the number is really like four. And him being one of my friends, I know why he went back. And it wasn't just the family. Since I've been here, I've only been back to the States one time. And I love love the United States. I still sit up here on Sunday, listen to my choir. I'm still listening to commission. I'm still listening to the, to the whinings. Tomorrow. See what I'm saying? Still listen to my Fred Hammond on Sunday. The Mississippi Mass Choir, Georgia Mass Choir. Me and Andre, get while, while we get ready to go to church on the other side of the city, they listen to Spanish hooping, just like in the States. It's crazy, right? But my point is that you guys are in demand. You really, really don't realize. If you realize as a man, especially brothers, dude, I tell people all the time, if I'd have known how much men, black men, were in demand from the United States around the world. I'd have left this motherfucker at 12. Soon as I got a paper route, I'd have been saving up money. M what you doing saving money, boy? Mama, I'm going to the motherland. Boy, you can't say motherland. I'm going to the motherland with a V and an F. Motherland. 